Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Photoshop tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at adding textures over your images to make them look just a little bit more edgy and gritty. Uh, along with this, I am releasing a free texture pack on MeesterMedia.com slash products, so check that out. Also on MeesterMedia.com slash products, we've got our house let pack, which you should also check out. So let's hop into Photoshop and get started on this. Here I've got this pretty killer picture of my buddy Connor. We had a photo shoot the other day and it just looks like it needs you know, some extra grittiness. So the first thing we'll do is go over and add a color lookup table. This isn't how you add a texture, but you know, lookup tables are always cool. So in here, I'm just gonna go load 3D LUT and I've navigated over to my house LUTs pack already. Once again, meastermedia.com slash product. And I'm gonna throw Kickstartmar on there, which I came up with because it looked like a terrible Kickstarter look. Now that looks pretty bad. So what we're gonna do is dial it back some and that's kind of what the LUTs were made for, is putting on and then dialing back. So around there looks pretty good, and see before and after kind of adds some color and punches it up some. The next thing we're going to do is I've got the texture pack up, and I like this texture number 014. So we'll just drag this on here and rotate it. And Photoshop auto scales it, but trust me, these are plenty high resolution for this. And just scale it up some and double click to confirm. And now this isn't what we want. This is just a texture. But if we go over here to our blending modes, we can just select one and that doesn't look like anything. But you can use your mouse wheel to scroll down and now we're getting some cool stuff. So multiply looked pretty cool. And sort of the best way to get a feel for how these work is to just keep scrolling through like this. I already know that I'm gonna like overlay. So we're just gonna navigate to that, which is up some. There we go, overlay looks pretty cool and might even reduce the opacity just a little bit. And now just that simple, we've made a whole different sort of feel of an image. It's a little bit more gritty and interesting. So here's before and after. Here I see this little doodad at the bottom, so I'm just gonna scale that out. And there we go, just like that. Nice, I think that's looking pretty cool and that was pretty quick. So super simple, super fun, made some neat stuff. Once again, I'm giving away this texture pack for free on MeesterMedia.com slash products. It's 71 street textures in both RAW and JPEG. So, you know, check those out. And also while you're there, be sure to check out the Meast New Media House Let's Pack because, you know, we used Cax Dartmar in there. And who would have ever thought you'd be able to use that? So I hope you liked this video. If you'd like to give it a like, if you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you're gonna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meast New Media YouTube channel. If you want even more Meast New Media goodness, we've got links for our socials down in the description below. Once again, I've been Theo with Meast New Media. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.